Welcome everybody to another video. Today we're going to talk about Windows 10 Creator Update. Should you update to it? I don't know, but I did, and we're going to talk about that. Okay, so Windows 10 Creator Update is upon us. It's got some pretty big improvements, most notably game mode. Game mode is supposed to boost the performance of your games for free by updating to the creator update. It basically says that it's going to divert resources away from unnecessary tasks to make the games run better. Now, if you're like me and you run a really tight ship and you don't leave a lot of junk running in the background, your results might be very similar to mine. However, if you're the average person and you don't run a tight ship and you leave a lot of stuff suspended in, in browsers and a lot of junk running in Task Manager that doesn't need to be running, you might actually see some big improvements. Seems like a pretty big promise, so I went ahead and tried it out. Okay, first things first, you have to turn game mode on in individual applications. Now this is done by holding Windows key and pressing G at the same time. Now, it should work, but I ran into issues with it not working on full screened applications. If you change the game to windowed mode, it seemed to pop up every single time. It's brand new, there's going to be bugs, so kind of rolled with the punches here. Now, I ran Grand Theft Auto V benchmark. I also ran Fire Strike. A little bit more about that in a minute. I also ran Gears of War 4's benchmark. And I also ran Wildlands benchmark. Now, we're going to talk about the three. So first things first, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto saw a marginal improvement in performance. Now, when I'm saying marginal, I mean a 2.7% increase in performance averaged across everything. Now, I'll show some graphs up here so you can kind of take a look at the data set. But... That's not that huge of an improvement. And again, because I run a tight ship and don't leave things running in the background, you're not gonna see these huge results because your system's not diverting resources to unnecessary tasks if the tasks aren't running. So just kind of food for thought there. In Ghost Recon, I did see an improvement, but not a whole lot again. It was a 0.86%, so less than 1% improvement. It's not anything to write home about, and that's well within a margin of error, you know, averaged out across the different tests. So I don't know. Interestingly, Gears of War 4 had literally no change. It was 0.02%. I'm not even going to take the time to compile the graphs because really, that's not an improvement. That's just, who knows? Really, who knows? That is that is negligible. Don't even mention it. Now, I don't have any data set for Fire Strike, and the reason is I couldn't get game mode to freaking open on it because it's stuck in full screen because I don't have the paid version. Now, if you have the paid version, I'm still not sure if you can put it into windowed mode to allow you to turn game mode on but the benchmarkings before and after the update, just for your own sake, without any difference, they were identical. Nothing changed in the background. There was no performance loss from the update without running game mode. Should you upgrade? That's a million dollar question. I say go for it. One of my buddies is having issues with this update. I don't know why. I haven't looked at the system. Uh, he was messing with it and just kind of got tired of waiting for it to update and couldn't get the game mode to open. And he just said, screw it and rolled it back. Now, after doing what I did today and finding out that it doesn't work in full screen applications, that's something to consider. Maybe that's the issue. I'm not entirely sure. Is it worth it? If you've got an older system that's not on brand new hardware, this isn't brand new hardware at all, you might see an improvement by doing game mode. But just remember, you have to turn it on for each application by doing Windows key and G at the same time and then turning game mode on. Some of the other cool things that are included in this update are 3D paint. You now have start menu folders, which is kind of cool because now you can have folders and have the open context and open up different things inside of your start menu on Windows 10. Pretty sweet. Edge also got updates. When do they not update Edge? It's like a never ending story here. There's a, a, a new UI, a new menu, if you will, for the privacy tabs. And there's a lot more stuff you can finally turn off instead of having to do everything through PowerShell or uh, through command line. So that makes life a lot easier for your average person. One more feature that I found interesting is night light. I won't be using that feature on this machine because night light's going to change the color temperature of your backlight to make it a little bit more of an amber light to filter out the blue light to make it easier for you to sleep and not strain your eyes. It's kind of a nice feature if you're on a mobile device, a tablet, things like that, but if you do any color work, video editing, anything like that, and your screens are calibrated like mine are, that's going to potentially screw with what you do. So, neat feature, but if you use it for a workstation, productivity station, I would just leave that alone. Another neat thing that Microsoft put in is called Dynamic Lock. Now, it uses the Bluetooth in your phone and the Bluetooth in your device to know when you're sitting in front of your computer. The way it works is as you walk away and it loses Bluetooth signal, it'll automatically lock the computer. Pretty sweet. I haven't really tried it out, so I don't know if that's really going to work. All right, that's going to do it for me. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Tell me what you didn't like about it, and I'll do my best to provide better content. As always, this is Chris. I appreciate your feedback and support. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you around. Thank you.